Undead armies are cool, but usually a pain in the ass because you need a shit ton of skeletons and zombies. So here's a quick guide on how I mass produce a lot of skeletons quickly in a grim dark style using mostly dry brushing. Like most of my projects, we start with a Zenithal Prime Coat. Uh, this is darker than what I normally do because we are going for a grim dark aesthetic here. We want the end result to be very grungy, very grim. So first I put on a real heavy coat of Celia Green Shade. Um, and I'm serious when I say a heavy coat. You want the model completely covered. Now get everywhere there's bone a real heavy dry brush of Hellion Green. I did a terrible job of keeping the skeleton and frame on this, but just a real basic dry brush, thick, dry, on the bone, you got this. Once dry, we're going to follow up with another dry brush of Wraith Bone. Um, this one, we only want the higher parts. We're going to do down strokes only. Uh, don't hit it back in the upstroke. You want to leave that dark underneath and that green underneath. This dry brush should be much lighter than your last one. Moving on to the wood, we're going to cover everything in a black contrast paint. In this case, I'm using Black Templar by GW. Uh, cover all the wood wood, avoid the skin, and try not to get into the recesses of the shield. Next, I'm going to hit this with the darkest steel I have. In my case, I'm using Iron Hands from Game Workshop. Just cover all the middle areas and try not to nick anywhere you use the Black Templar. Now we're going to take some silver mist bark and we're going to dry brush everywhere we covered with black templar on our wood. This is going to give a brown color and also some texture and make it look more realistic. 
um, go ahead and keep going until you see fit. I personally think it looks best with a lot of coverage, but your results may vary. Now we're going to do all the cloth on the skeleton with some Athonian camo shade, um, giving it a real heavy first coat, and then if you think it's needed, go back and give it a second one. Now take some of that basilian gray and cover everywhere we have metal on the miniature. This will help give it a dark grimy look. For this next step, I'm using Decay Metal from Scale 75. Um, if you don't have that, any kind of more coppery bronze color will kind of work for this. Um, but I'm just going to use it to hit the edge highlights on all of the metal bits. Last thing I'm going to do, and this is an optional step, is do one last edge highlight in a light silver, um, basically along the edge of the blade. I'm going to use uh, Duncan's line, two thin coats. Uh, the metallics are very good. Any light metallic is going to work, but light silver um, is just going to add a sharpness to the blade that I think makes the model look more intimidating. And that's all there is to it. With a little bit of practice, you should be able to get the time down to 15 minutes or so per model, which will allow you to build these hordes of skeletons for your necromancers very easily, and they still look great on the tabletop. Thanks for watching.